Hi guys, Steve here. Warframe just had its 2019 TennoCon, where it showed some of the new features and game modes coming to Warframe. If you're not familiar with the game, it's a free-to-play third-person shooter where you're a space ninja, but you can play with your friends. It's been one of the best free-to-play games now for a while, but what we've shown in this video looks absolutely amazing. So never mind being one of the best free-to-play games, it looks like it's going to be one of the best games to play. I've started playing it again, so if you haven't checked out Warframe in a while, or if you've never heard of it, check out this video and see what's coming. I'll put my referral link in the description box below, so if you've never played it before, click the link, and it'll give you a 7 days XP boost when you click it and create an account. Do that now, because you'll need an account to play the game, and I'll leave you with a footage of what was showed on the TennoCon. Shadows and the grounding of the action is more immersive uh, and extremely interesting and the art that the, our artists have created has uh, you know further been elevated and that's what we're talking about with Empyrean is not to say here's a new island here's a new expansion go there and when you burn out on that come back what we're talking about is lifting the whole <laughs> <laughs> So what better way to do that and connect everything with a motherfucking spaceship? So let's go to the dry dock and check it out. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Extremely tested. Okay, so uh, if you, you know you guys are very familiar uh, with the dojo. The way the railjack is going to work. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. We're going to kind of explain all of the confusing stuff that we've shown about railjack. So really, this is like a dev stream that's going to be more in depth. We're going to be talking about upgrades, all of the rest of that stuff, uh, and we're going to run a few uh, railjack missions. But we're going to show you the context that's changing because there's a lot of stuff in here. And so I might tell you things to look for and then just shut up when they're playing. So you work together in your dojo, uh, in your clan, or maybe your clan of one person uh, to get the technology for Railjack, but each one of you has your own. So Rebecca's gonna summon hers. So you can see the new rendering tech where the ship flew in and cast a giant shadow on the wall. You can see the metals and the materials and all the color customizations are going to just pop off the screen uh, when we get this into your hands. But I don't think we want to run a solo mission, so I think we should invite last year's space team up to the stage. Oh yeah! Space Force. So, uh, things work a little bit differently for a railjack. Uh, Rebecca was going to search some JoJo memes or something. Uh, so, uh, things work a bit differently for the railjack. Uh, it has uh, the pilot guns, so we're, we'll go quickly through the UI. Uh, you have a piloting gun position, you have the side turrets, which share the same equipment. All of these weapons don't level up, but they be are technologically leveled up instead of using them uh, like you do in uh, the rest of Warframe. And you have ordnance, which is things like missiles, and you have, uh, you have your uh, defensive things, like in this case, the, the decoy. So again, we'll just keep moving on through here. Of course, you can customize it. What are you going to do? <laughs> I 
You had to do that, didn't you? Oh, man. So the core of the Railjack is a, a shared frame. Uh, shared, well, that's a bad pun, I suppose, but a shared uh, chassis. And the engines and the shields, generators, all of these things will be technology that you earn exploring space uh, and using those to upgrade your Railjack. When you're in a squad, I got that question a, a bit today, when you're in a squad, everything you earn, just like the rest of the game, a squad, any technology you earn, uh, Meg and Danielle will get that same technology so they can, again, invest it in their own Railjack. So we're kind of trying to solve that problem of whose Railjack is it and, and whose um, systems are in effect. So, oh, there's the inside. No pink. So this is different than last year. Uh, this is much more uh, fleshed out. Uh, what we want you to do for Empyrean is get in your ship and fly seamlessly to mission, to mission, to mission. But those missions actually have uh, storms, void storms in space or other circumstances that might be different factions. So instead of modding up to capacity, what you do is you put much more systems into your ship in preparation and manage those changes based on the circumstances you play. So we've got our battle modules, which are a little bit like, imagine a Warframe, but you could slot all of the abilities in. So these are the battle modules that I think we're going to see today. Uh, you have tactical modules that uh, affect uh, combat uh, and also help you support the away team, so keep an eye out uh, for that. Uh, and then you have core systems like the shields and the engines and all of these things uh, are upgradable uh, and, and switchable on the fly, which is really cool. Right, and then lastly, you know, we'll gloss over this a little bit, but uh, rather than going with a damage system that's persistent, which we experimented with, we found it was much more uh, exciting and interesting that you could use uh, surplus resources to boost the ship rather than having to keep constantly in this kind of damaged weapon, broken weapon state. So uh, that's how that system works. Time to go aboard. So let's go aboard Rebecca's Railjack and meet her crew. Crew, welcome aboard. I am Cephalon Psy. You will refer to me as such. Aboard this Railjack, we work before we play. So, the way this is fleshed out is, you know, Meg and Danielle, part of Space Team, are going to help Rebecca on these missions we're going to show you. But there are NPCs on this ship, the crew, which you are earning, you're hiring, and firing them with their specialization that affect the way the ship plays. So we've actually got a Solarian engineer down here who can upgrade the ship for us. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, cool. Uh, so there's a really a deeper customization there, which includes also uh, the civilians of the world trying to help the Tenno. You really see the beautiful dynamic lighting, real-time shadows, reflection system. It really feels lifted up. Engines online. So the first mission we're going to do is uh, an exploration mission. Uh, the Solarian engineer uh, that uh, we've recruited uh, has a lead on some lost technology in the heliosphere. Heliosphere.
Void translation complete. Debris contains mineral traces. Crew, do we have a need? We do. The SS Jojo needs some upgrades. Helm, debris warning. Maneuver accordingly. thing you'll notice is that we've worked hard to try to prevent the players from getting sick by piloting each other so Meg's whole turret system here is counter rotating to compensate for uh, Rebecca's drunk flying and Danielle's in there doing uh, resource compaction so there's you know if that kind of thing is what you like to do, go out, collect resources, and find interesting science, technology uh, hidden in the system in places you never could go before, that is also cooperative and, and interesting from a team play perspective. But I think there's probably an old tower we might be able to find something on. I'm sure nothing will go wrong, but if it does, pay attention to how Rebecca's, again, able to support that away team. Even when she's on the railjack, they are connected. They are still a connected fighting force. Archives. Crew, you might find this interesting. Infested, watch your back. You see all the enemies on the map there. Team, stand by for offensive support. So that was simple, you know, we killed some infested and we 
earn some shadow field tech for our railjack, which might come in really handy. Just hold for a sec. Um, but I was wondering if you guys would like to see the kingpin system. Okay, we can do that. Uh, so there's a, a problem Rebecca has, and we're not calling them kingpins. Uh, they are not created when you kill them. I mean, they are not created when they kill you. They are created when you kill them. They are what we like to call Kuva Liches. And they are uh, spiked with Kuva, and they go out in the field hoping that you will kill them with a Warframe power so that they can steal it. And this is a character custom to you that will have a long-term relationship with you. And Rebecca has one that's been hounding her for a while and has grown so powerful that he controls his own capital ship now. So let's see if Galleon Orgo is uh, detected anywhere. There we go. So there's the void storm rolling in. That's going to create a complication here uh, as we are going to try to take down this Kuva Lich who's got his own capital ship. So this is going to get absolutely bonkers in a second. But I just want to point out that you're not the only one with cruise ships. And there is a whole kind of space GTA aspect to Empyrean that hopefully we can pull off right now. So let's give it a try. Blackout pulse. Online. Oh, 
So Meg and Daniel have commandeered one of the Grenier cruise ships, and they're using it now to make short work of the support fighters with Rebecca on the rail jack. So there are times when your railjack gets owned by ram sleds and you need to get back quick. So you can do that. So it looks like the Kuvalich's support is uh, taken out. So let's go meet him and uh, see if we can put an end to this. It's time. Contact the surface and engage the disruptor field. Disruptor field. Abort approach. They have a generator dirt side. We cannot touch it from up here. Your move. So this is it. Uh, we think this is the game changer. Squad Link. You've probably heard for years a lone Tenno operative is raiding this ship for supplies. And you wondered, who was that lone Tenno operative? What if we could take our co-op game between people that are in the same session and connect them to other co-op games happening in real time all across the game?
Yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. We need fish team to save the day. I'm pretty excited about this. So, this squad link allows us to place a beacon, it's opt-in, and it will basically listen to the police scanner. Anyone else in trouble, anywhere else in the system that needs support from my current mission and location. So let's check it out, Drew. All right, so now he's on a prioritized list. Friends, clanmates, Alliances are now going to be invited to help you out in real time with an objective that crosses the barrier between games. So now, holy shit, there's the support shield. This is the motherfucking Battle of Endor! Let's do this! It is not a hard barrier. This is possible without squad link, but it's a much more difficult situation and doesn't have the squad link resources and rewards associated with it. So the team has sacrificed a whole bunch of systems because they're in a power constrained, constrained situation, trying to hold them off and buy time for fish team to take care of that disruptor field. Go fish team! Every arc wing can blink now. Kuvazic confirmed. Close in. Your ultics sprang through me. My organs fried. My mind shattered. You killed me. And I grew stronger! I built a small empire. You tore it down. Obliterated my fleet. Killed me! Over and over! And still I grew stronger! He seems pretty bitter. 
So the Void Storm's rolling in, so I think we're going to have to take care of this guy pretty quick before it hits. Crew, Void Sinks manifesting in quantity. We need that target dead yesterday. This Kubalich is a tech specialization, which means they can redirect capital ship energy into protecting themselves. So I don't think the team quite has his number yet. I think they're going to have to do something else. Not quite enough power, we're gonna have to use the side guns, I think.
And now it's time to get out of here before that void storm tears the ship apart.
if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to my other videos at the end. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.